The vote made it official. Mayor Jacob Fry's nominee Brian O'Hara will be the new NPD chief. I can show you a little bit more of the damage. The streets, they're covered in soot. Well, Steve, waves are literally coming through the front doors of this home, and it has actually sunk quite a bit. We do know that there is no threat to the public. That is what officials have said. And we have noticed with the crews that are still here, they have this little black band over their badge signifying a time of mourning. The timing of when he heard those shots last night lines up with when police say they got a call about a man with a gun. This is an ongoing issue. Dogs without their owners in the streets and alleyways. Today, the volunteers traveled to Uvalde, Texas, where they visited Robb Elementary School and the growing memorial that's behind me. Julie, it's a very different scene today. The floodwaters just yesterday went all the way to that intersection behind me, and you can see why Cook City Hall was pretty nervous. You see those sandbags over there? The water made it right over to that line. Luckily, it did not get inside. It's a different story for the houses behind this park, though. And of course, it's all for such a wonderful cause for these animals. We yeah. love and it, it's, Sammy. And uh, it's not raining cats and dogs anymore. I made that, that joke three times already. So I like not. it, and I'm glad that it's ended. So thank you. Thank you, Sammy. We love it. That wasn't attractive. The cheese definitely drips a little bit. Anyways, <laughs> you can only totally come today. You can get some pickle pizza. Mitchell, are you ready? Do you consent? Are you going to be okay? Okay, hold on to that camera, buddy. Here we go. Life's roads have their twists and turns. I always liked older cars. So might as well ride in style. Cars aren't like that anymore. Kurt Johnson considers his 1964 Oldsmobile part of the family. This is my baby right here. Yeah. At first to his wife, Jane's dismay. I was very angry when he bought the car. <laughs> but when he got it in 09. This wasn't a glove box still. It came with more than a set of keys. This is a protecto plate and this is where we found her name on this. Clues led him to the original owner in California. A lot of letters throughout the years from Helen. And 15 years later. Dear Kurt, I knew when I saw the picture of the convertible, that was my 64 olds. He still calls the 92 year old Californian every other week. We're on the phone for like an hour and a half. Like relatives, <laughs> but not quite. I have not met her in person. So a family reunion. Yes. Yes, I'll be with you the first time. Is long overdue. Good morning, I made it. I'm here. I get to see my car. We are so excited to have you here. I've loved that car since the moment I bought it, 1964. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my God. Oh, look at that car. Oh. I got to come and get a hug. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Together at last, all three of them. In person. <laughs> dream come true. Bye. See you in California. Helen Cosmata hasn't seen her beloved convertible since 1991. Oh my God. Listen to it. She lost sight of it after she gave it to her nephew. Oh, I love a convertible. And while a car is a great present. Helen's his girl. <laughs> the gift. It's an experience of a lifetime for me. She would give Kurt was more than a joy ride. We redid a car, an old car. He and his older brother, Brian, loved to tinker. Uh, when he was 45, he took his own life. So um, at that time, I was going through a lot of uh, grief. And, so I decided to buy a car. The convertible brought him comfort. This helped me with the grief. And a friend. Kept in the glove compartment all those years. Helen is also grateful for her long distance yeah. companion. See, and it had chrome on the bottom yeah, too. Yeah. After her husband, Al, passed away a few years ago. Oh my gosh. Letters and calls kept her company. I really think that you are a special man with a special car. Sincerely, Helen Cosmata. <laughs> You're going to get to drive it, Helen. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is so wonderful. <laughs> My new best friend. Whether life is smooth 
Look out, world. <laughs> or bumpy. Oh, wow. It certainly helps <laughs> to have the right passenger. <laughs> this is your bucket list. Yeah, it is. Sammy Solina. It really is. Care 11 News. God, this is just like 1964 all over again. <laughs>is together. The congregation of Trinity Lutheran in Cyrus seeks warmth. And darkness tries to hide. John Torn showed us the song he sang today in church. How great. After he learned that just a block away, Deputy Owen was shot and killed. After hearing uh, the tragic news with the community, um, something that just was pressed upon my heart. It was good to be with the people that we're close to. This is all everybody was talking about, you know, and... Uh... Jerry Salvi was baptized here and has 70 years worth of memories at this church and this tight community. Anything we can do, people were reaching out, and what better place to... to... Uh... get comfort. Loss can make the world feel cold. Deputy Owen had a heart as big as his stature. But the warmth is easier to find. Yep. Huddled together. That's what we do in this little town. People are reaching out, trying to comfort one another. Bedside songs, stories. Every time I come home, like tell him like stuff that I did better in volleyball. Family. Like I check on him a lot every day. And a lot of time to think. That's what fills Risa Fuima Ono's life. Aloha. My name is Risa Sonfa Maono. I have been diagnosed with ALS and have lived with this disease for almost 14 years. Sitting on a chair, or laying on a bed, doing nothing, is harder than anyone can imagine. Reese's older kids were just babies when he was diagnosed with ALS. His youngest wasn't even born yet. I'm feeding my dad's water right now. It's a neuromuscular disease. For Risa, it means he can't move his body and he needs help with the simplest tasks. Breathing, eating, talking. Bye. Bio. But his mind is still healthy. I use the Samoan alphabet because it's shorter. So we would spell out the words. That's how we guess what he wants. His eyes would do the yes and no. Mona has been my arms and legs over the years, and I could not ask for a better companion, wife, caregiver, and mother to our precious children. She is the best. The best. <laughs> is that right? Yes. His eyes are going to the right. That means yes. Yeah, he'll describe me that way, the best, uh, everything. Um, I know he's very thankful. You know, there's times when he'll tell me how um, thankful he is of me. She does it with grace. She gets financial help from the state to be a full-time caregiver. That, along with Reese's social security benefits, is what the family of five lives on. Even though it's a small house, a little bit, our house is... Full of, full, of love. full of love. For families living with ALS, they are faced with the same challenges every day. Taking care of their loved ones is a daily routine. My wife, Mona, takes care of me 24-7, along with the help of my kids. Now his kids are old enough to help dad. We ask him what he needs. And to realize that he won't get better. 
sometimes it hits me like when I see other people with their dads and just thinking that could have been us with our dad especially our son um to not have um you know I, I I've heard him many times um he wishes that he had you know the father-son relationship where they can go out play ball you know be physic physically yeah well um he's my dad um so much things I, I I wish I could have done with him watching my family every day doing everything for me especially seeing my children grow before my eyes and not being able to physically be involved in their lives is devastating what Mona and other families are fighting for is a long-term care facility for ALS patients Risa says it would give him one less thing to think about. It's it's not that easy to just get up and go. Um, you have to make sure, train somebody. It can give caregivers and family relief and break any time as needed. I will find comfort that my life will be in good hands. My dad played too. And I never seen him play, but I heard he was pretty good. Just hope he can be proud of me. So yeah. Risa has a lot of time to think about his family, <laughs> about the future. Just to know that he's he's grateful, you know, it's good enough for me. Yeah. Some think that people with ALS must live empty lives. They are my world and my reason for continuing to live. But with the right care, their lives are full of love.